I'm back, baby. So I was listening to the song Naughty Girl by Beyonce and the cover art makeup girl, cover art makeup got me fired up. I knew I needed to film, well didn't need to, but wanted to film this video for you guys and catch you guys up <laughs> on other things in my life that I don't put in the vlogs. So I was inspired and because I just cut my hair short, I wanted to do something really sassy. Sorry, I'm being really cringe. I'm in like a cringy, like girly mood. So lots to update you guys on. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, if you're excited and uh, yeah. This look is, this look is so fun. I wish I was going somewhere. I'm not. <laughs> Bye. Hi. <laughs> I'm back with a makeup look. Okay, no makeup. I have a few breakouts. I don't know if it's from traveling, things just changing. I have short hair. I cut my hair. That'll be the first thing we talk about because I have some fun things that I just want to say. So let's skin prep. I'm taking the Glow Recipe PAH and BHA Pore Tight Toner. Sorry if you hear knocking. It is midday here in LA. 15 million people in one little area. We're going to hear some Things. What I do is I just go like this. Probably shouldn't touch this to my skin, but it's okay. It smells like watermelon, my favorite. Just gonna rub this in. Basically, this just like helps the oil on my skin. I'm a very oily girl. Some girlies have been using the Rode Skin Essence. I have it and I love it, but I love it at night because I just need all the hydration in the world. And this kind of just like helps the skin stay kind of matte. I love when my base smells good. Big scent girl. So I cut off my hair. It was down to past my boob. So like a full, it was here. And then I had 25 inch extensions in. Squalene vitamin C moisturizer. I just washed all of my brushes. So this is your sign to wash your brushes, babes. Taking the moisturizer, I take a brush and I like to just like feather it out. It just makes it feel nice. And I hate, I don't know if I've told you guys, I think I've told you guys this before here and there, but I hate the feeling of um, anything on this part of my hand, like my tips of my fingers, like lotion, anything, oils, just anything at all on my hand, the flat part of my the palms of my hands <laughs> and my fingertips, I just like hate it. So if I can just like not use my fingertips, that would be great. So the extensions that I had were the K-tip. They're like the little bond tips. You put like one piece of hair through like a big chunk of it. Very very natural you can barely see it since I have dark hair when you put my hair up like you could barely see them in my head and it just gave me this long princess hair and I loved it I've had really long extension -y hair and hair in general pretty much my whole life besides in 2019 I did cut my hair at this length I really liked it there was nothing wrong with it I've never had an attachment to my hair because I think my hair was just never a part of my identity because it's I have a lot of it but it's very fine so it doesn't it never like styled well it was always just like this silky straight kind of soft hair and whatever boring so I never like styled it anything crazy. So when I cut it off, it's just like, oh, whatever, it's just cut. I'm gonna use the Road Lip Peptide. This is in the flavor, salted caramel. The watermelon one's my favorite, but this is so nice. The reason why I love this is because some lip treatments, lip oils, they remove any like lip color you have on. So when I'm running errands, I like to wear lip liner during the day. And sometimes lip oils just remove it. So it looks like you have nothing on like an hour later. This like stays on your lips, like a mask almost. Almost, and I love it. Plus like now I taste like salty vanilla sugar. So back to cutting my hair, I just think I had extensions for so long and I was just, I was just ready, you know? Like I just wanted to feel free. I've recently gotten into this vibe where I got rid of my nails, I'm just doing gel nail polish. I was doing literally the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I put this all around my eyes just to like keep eyeshadow and concealer on and I just wanna hydrate my eyes cause we don't want any dry looking eyes. So basically, I just got into my natural girly era and now gel nails aren't like super natural, but it like just keeps my nails from like breaking and stuff because my nails were so weak after doing gel X and acrylics for literally four years. 
maybe no actually like two and a half but still so then i was like oh my extensions are just so heavy there's so much of them they were pretty but then my hair was back like this so you couldn't really see all of them all the time because i wouldn't wear my hair forward as much because it was so much hair but i liked it it was fun and i just got to a point where i really just was craving to start doing scalp massages and making my scalp healthy making my hair beautiful going seven days without like showering and stuff like that well washing my hair i shower i want to just like create my own natural body balm like i'm really in that moment this is like my fifth bottle of this it's absolutely incredible the tatcha liquid canvas primer it's just so beautiful honestly any asian skincare or anything like tatcha like it's so nice on my skin and this gives you just like that nice beautiful finish so so pretty like i love this on the skin i love tatcha tatcha is probably one of my like holy grail top skincare brands that i'm constantly reaching for i want to travel with i want all their body care their skincare like everything I, I really love tatcha they killed it love it so now i'm gonna go in this is the say beauty glowy super gel this is in the darkest shade I like this and you know what i'm gonna do is i am gonna use this brush and just kind of buff it out basically i was just ready to cut my hair off and just go a few months with it short and just rocking it like i don't give a shit like whatever and styling it new ways i'm not a big hairstylist girl i do makeup i style clothes i sing songs i act but i can't really style my hair so just rub this and make sure it's all even this just gives you like the prettiest glow especially us girlies who don't tan doesn't have to be totally even however i'm gonna take this Okay, this I started using their self tanner. It's pretty much an organic self tanner and it makes your skin like this little bit of color that I have is from this brand self tan. So I'm normally very pasty, but this little bit of just goldenness that I have to my skin that's like sun kissed and very pretty is this organic brand called Beauty by Earth. I have it in my Amazon, I'll link it. It's the tinted facial sunscreen. This I got because I loved the brand so much. I went to their little like page on Amazon and I was like, let's just try some more of their products well this product i actually like i actually got was too dark for me so i was like well i'm gonna use it as a bronzer because it has spf i can put it all around the outside of my face and wear it as makeup and i'm getting spf so yeah you should always wear spf though taking kosas concealer I'm just gonna go like around the outside so i'm just using concealer actually for this and then we'll do my under eyes I kind of like this one-stop shop, like one-stop shot. Is it shop or shot? Like base? Cause you know how sometimes you do primer, foundation, liquid bronzer, liquid blush, powder, everything like da da da. I like that this is like all in one. I love a fluffy brush. So I'm just gonna fluffy brush out the concealer around my face here. So as I was saying, I already had my hair appointment and I was, was I on TikTok? Probably. I mean, I've been taking slower, longer breaks from TikTok, but probably saw it on TikTok because who are we kidding? This hourglass brush I love for under eye and you just press it up in the eye. Okay, hi. I had some products start to like pill up, like roll up because I didn't let my moisturizer dry. So then I had to set parts of my face. Okay. For under eye setting, powder, Huda Beauty, pound cake, unreal. I take this brush and I just like dab it in. I'm just like over the beauty blend. I, I've been using a beauty blender, but like I'm kind of over it. But I just like to like just get a bunch of product and then just like, you know what I mean? Set my under eye. <laughs> So what I was saying is I recently saw a video, maybe it was on YouTube, honestly. And basically what they were saying is hair holds memories. And so they were saying if you like can't get over something or you feel like a trauma bond or like just something you want to like get rid of, maybe cut your hair off. And I know that sounds like crazy and a little bit like psych warty but i feel like it kind of makes sense because look at what like britney spears did and now have we seen doja cat you guys 
it's like a release of like it's like a new birth because you're not holding on to anything that that hair has seen because think about how much your hair sees how much it feels how much it touches right like with skin you're constantly sloughing skin off and getting a new layer of skin you know the cycle i think is every 28 days where hair depending on how long you're growing it that holds years of memory you could be like well your eyes have seen so much but you get what i'm saying like you know and i've been fine I'm, i've been on my healing girl journey i've actually been doing great but hearing and seeing that i was like okay this just solidifies like i'm in a new me i'm, I'm trying new things i'm doing new things i'm elevating i'm gonna show you show you the product i have been so incredible it's the best this is the bay brow instant brow tint what i like about it is it has a little foot like a little lip gloss and what i like to do is just run it in my brow to get it really dark i like my brows really dark and it just automatically gives them the quickest tint so you're not sitting there like brushing or like scraping your eyebrow with a pencil you already are getting the tint just right in the hairs like so easy i take the brow pencil and i just make a nice nice little ending just like that and then this kosas brow pop nano tiny little guy look at how skinny <gasps> so skinny i love a hair i love a hair like stroke different strokes for different photos no, and i just like to go and i like to just bring the brow in a little bit because so i have just a couple hairs out here so i like it out further I feel like, I feel like it just frames my face better, so. And it looks so natural. And then the Benefit Brow Wax. I love this stuff. If you need your brows to stay in place, this is so good. And I just like brush them up a little bit at the front, give them that bushiness. I've really been loving a more fuller brow. I know thin brows are kind of having their moment, but I think thick brows just give such a youthful, pretty vibe. I feel like when you're younger, you want like skinny brows because it makes you look so like snatched and mature. And then when you get older, you're like, I still want a youthful look. That makes sense. I don't know. Let's brush my little bake away. You can still kind of see this pimple, but honestly, I don't really mind it. I'll cover it up at the end. While I do my little blush combo, let's talk about dating. All right. If you guys... God, here we go. Do I talk about this? I guess I talk about it. Yeah. Taking the Charlotte Tilbury matte blush wand. I love this wand. It's so nice. Just a little bit. Maybe even like here. A little under the eye. And then Pinkgasm. Just going to go up here. Mm hmm and we'll start blending that out so for those of you who have watched my channel you would have known that my first date at the top of the year was a valentine's day date and i yeah he asked me to be his valentine over instagram basically it was like so random but also like just cool like i was about it we went on a series of dates after that and probably out of all the guys i went on a date with this year he probably was the most like gentle and patient and very like gentleman like like pick me up for every day wanted to go shopping like dinner kind of went with the flow very sweet like didn't even try to kiss me at all like at all and on our very last like date or the last time i like went on a date with him i was leaving to go out of town and basically i initiated the kiss with him and it was very sweet like it was nice and i liked him even though there was some red flags or maybe some trauma like i can't really fully judge too much on that because like you know i've been through tra traumatic things and you know i was just like open to it so it was a super cute kiss i ended up having to leave because i had an event to go to and that was that we texted right after i left and it was just very sweet and i was like wow i i like this boy like i like him so then i had left and i didn't really hear from him so i did text him because he then was like going to he was traveling somewhere to do something and i wished him luck and yeah the conversation it was just like i don't know i didn't really hear from him and i was just like okay like i don't want to bother him he's traveling and you know then when i got back there was a few days before he had to go leave somewhere 
And so he had asked me like, hey, like, are you back type of thing? And I remember being like, yeah, like I'm, I'm back. And then I didn't hear from him for a whole day. He's like, oh shoot, I'm leaving. And I was like, okay. And then I don't know, it just like died. Like he didn't try to see me. I don't know what had happened, but I felt like our previous date, like right beforehand, right before I left was like great. And it was fun and it was cute and it was like, whatever. So I just was a little confused, I guess. For those of you who may know, may or may not know, I haven't been in the dating scene for too long. I like don't really know how to handle stuff like that. I'm gonna take the Shelly blush by Benefit. I love their blushes. Their blushes are so pretty. And I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna blend some in. So I was really so confused as to why and it kind of really like hurt my ego, I guess, because I was like, why am I not good enough? Did he see something, hear something? Why isn't he saying anything to me? You know, maybe another girl came along or he met someone new, but I don't know. So I was sad because I, I really liked him. But then as time went on, I was just like, I got over it, obviously. I mean, you know, we only went on a few dates, but I was kind of bummed because I was excited about him and whatever. I thought he was smart. Yeah, but there was some red flags and things where I was like, okay, maybe this isn't for me. Like maybe, you know, rejection is always God's protection. And you have to remember that when in being in the dating world or else you're just gonna feel crushed and you're gonna feel like not good enough or you're gonna second guess your own worth. And that's what I started to do. I was like, wow, I, I'm not good enough for a guy like this. You know, he definitely saw that maybe I'm not good enough, which isn't true. That's just not, that's not true. And everyone has their own Shit, you never know what they're going through or what they're dealing with. So I had to really check myself because like I said, I was so hurt. I was like, oh, I got so excited about him and he's really cute. I was attracted to him, liked what he did. Thought, like I said, he's smart. I feel like he understood me because I wasn't perfect and I said some stupid shit and I just feel like, yeah, but I have no idea what had happened. And I blame myself. I definitely looked in the mirror and I was just like, I'm not good enough. Like maybe I'm stupid, I don't know and it hurt me. So fast forward to Coachella, I go to Coachella. I actually ran into the guy at Coachella and it was just, it was funny, it was fine. And that was that, whatever. But I met a few other people. Basically one night, I haven't told this story anywhere. So right now I'm just setting my face with this Kosas um, powder. It's in the color Comfy. My friend Heather and I were at this party called Neon Carnival. Basically, it's like literally real life euphoria. I'm not even kidding. Open bar, there's everywhere if you want it. The music is incredible. There's sometimes there's celebrity. I like I saw Little Nas X, like, but then there's influencers and like all. It's just, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's so, but it's fun. It's, it's, it's fun. You feel like it's, you're not in reality. It's the craziest feeling ever. So we're there and we're looking for a friend. And my one friend I was with, she looks at me, she goes, I want to make out with someone right now. I go, oh, right now we're looking for blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, right now find me someone. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's do it. By the way, it's like 1am. You're there till like at least 4am. I think they like close it down at four. So I'm like, okay, let's find you someone. Sorry, I'm like putting this like highlight on, but it's like not sticking. I'm gonna take this Ilia warm nude palette. So anyways, we're at this party and I'm like, okay, I see a cute guy on the phone standing across the way. I'm like, what about him? She's like, oh, yes. So she goes, but say something creative, like come up with something creative. So I was like, all right. He looks like a surfer guy, probably likes blonde girls. She's blonde, she's a hottie. So I go up to him and I go, hey, we have a question. He was like, what's up? I was like, I think I asked him if he was single as I did with like every guy. And basically I'm taking, by the way, this matte brown, this matte brown, and I mix it together. I'm putting it on my outside of my eye and the crease. So I just want to create that just beautiful brown color before we lay some shimmer on there. I don't know what is going on with my nose, so we'll just fix that, the contour, later. So I go up to him and I go, hey, if you were to make out with one of us, who would it be? And I was like, I already knew when that was leaving my mouth that that was the stupidest question to ask because like, what if it went the wrong way? And of course he steps back, he looks at both of us and he's like, I like brunettes and points at me and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I make out with this guy, we leave. I'm like, I need to go to the bathroom. This is ridiculous. She goes, well, you can't do that. Like make it something else. So anyways, we go to the bathrooms and I come out of the bathroom. 
it's a porta potty thing like these outdoor bathrooms because you're outside at this freaking carnival and i walk out and there's this guy waiting he's next and he's like looking at me as i'm exiting and i was like oh my gosh he's really cute i go and i call over my friend she's like washing her hands i go she's like okay so i bring him over i go hey do you have a second he's like i'm like are you in line and i grab his arm he's like no no i'm not in line and we drag him out of line we pull him off to the side and i go are you single and he was like yeah and i was like okay will you make out with us he goes what are you sure i go yeah you're gonna make out with me and then you're gonna make out with her and he was like okay i'm down so he makes out with me anyways we just carry on this game into the night i know it's crazy you guys and listen i'm in my celibacy area but when it comes to like kissing i love i love to kiss i really do i love kissing i just think it's great i haven't kissed that many people in my life i mean i have like i know exactly the number of people that i've kissed because i have it on my phone but i still i love to kiss it's just like one of my favorite things so yeah i'm gonna go into this shimmer color sorry if if that sounds crazy but it was the reality of of that after coachella and all that two the first two guys that i ended up kissing i the first one ended up wanting to take me out so it was so cute we went out on a few dates together and whatnot oh my gosh this color is so pretty do you see this and basically on the first date he told me that he doesn't believe in marriage but he wants to be a dad within the next two years of his life while he goes and travels the world for a year of it and I was just like sitting in the passenger seat and I was like, that's not really my journey. Um, but I still went on the date with him. We had a great time. I met some of his friends and I even went on a second date with him. And then it was my birthday that week and my dad was coming into town. So I couldn't see him and we had just went on a few dates. So I like, you know, I'm not gonna invite him around my dad. I guess maybe some people would, not me. He had wished me a happy birthday on my actual birthday. He's like, oh, I have a gift for you. I was like, oh, that's nice, whatever. It was cute. Wow, like I was like, okay. So then after that, we were like texting for that day on my birthday and then I had asked him a question on my birthday and he took like like a day and a half to reply so and it was like a reply that was like oh blah 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 like I was like what do you what'd you do and he's like blah blah and blah and I was like okay clearly that you took a whole ass day to answer me like I'm just not gonna respond and he'll probably text me and then just be like hey are you around this week I want to see you nothing didn't hear from him nothing so a few weeks go by and I'm just like so confused because our dates were so great and our makeup Outs, our chemistry like it was good and pretty much like I'm that girl like first second even like I just move slow that's just how I am and no one really asked me like hey wanna where I was like no like nobody asked me so there was no pressure towards it it was all good like whatever and like I said this guy said he had a gift for me so I don't hear from him and then a few weeks later, I'm like so confused. I like don't know what to say. I'm new to dating. So I also just feel like I'm not the best at dating. Like I don't know what to text, what to say. I don't want to bombard a guy. I feel like if he was saying that he has a gift for me, I'm not going to be like, hey, where's my gift? I don't know. I just like, I was just whatever. And plus like he didn't believe me. I was just like, whatever. I'm going to let God take the wheel. Every time I go into a date, I go, God, if this one isn't for me, take him out of my life. So a few weeks go by and he's like, hey, how's it going? Da 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 via DM on Instagram when this man has my number. Taking this Lancome waterproof liner in brown, I'm gonna draw a wing, like so. Maybe just do. Okay, so he was like, are you around this weekend? And I was like, yeah, I'm around on Sunday. He was like, all right, Sunday it is, whatever. So Sunday rolls around, I, it was the last and worst hangover of my entire life. And I went to a party, I went to like an event that was open bar and I don't know, I had two and a half drinks and I was slammed like brutally drunk so anyways i didn't hear from him though that day like nothing like not hi we're still hanging out nothing so i was like okay i like a man to take the lead by the way and some people will be like well how does he know if you're interested or not like whatever like me saying i'm gonna hang out with you is showing you enough interest in my book i am so busy like trying to hustle and make something of myself and like whatever i want to be courted for the first few dates that's just like how i work that's my vibe i get maybe after the first few dates i could come up with something and do something cute and like whatever but the first couple of dates like mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, that's just how I like it. I just think that that's appropriate. That's what I'm looking for. I want a leader. I want to be courted. I want to see how serious this guy is. Sure. Sorry, this is the longest makeup tutorial in the world. So anyways, to wrap up this one, because this guy doesn't 
matter anymore. It was just weird because he said that he had a birthday gift for me, like all these things, and then waited weeks to reach out, not to say anything about a gift, and then like ask me to hang out, I tell him a day, then he never follows up, and then I just never hear from him again, and then he would just look at my stories and heart my stories here and there. So I just removed him off social media. I was like, what the f I'm not doing this. I'm not, okay? I wanna darken up my like eye a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with like the darker brown and I'm just gonna go here and just bring it out. Inner corner. This is Cookie by Benefit. So yeah, I was just finding myself because I really like we had good chemistry, but I just hate that he was playing me like that. So again, here I was, I was like so sad because I was like, why is this happening to me? Why am I not good enough? You know what I mean? I just couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. So then one of the other guys that I kissed at Coachella, and obviously I know some of you guys are gonna be like, well, kissing someone at Coachella or kissing someone like out in public for the first time you meet them is not a good impression. Listen, I know, okay? But I'm like such a good girl. I know that sounds crazy, but I am. And I like to kiss people in public. I like to kiss new people, that's it. But I know it doesn't give the best impression, so I get it. But the second guy I kissed then asked me out on a date and I go. And I did a whole little vlog YouTube thing about it. Like what's a girl to do? You guys can watch those vlogs if you guys want to catch up on like what happened. But basically we had a really steamy date. I was a little awkward for me in the beginning because I was like kind of nervous. I get really nervous for dates. I really do. I get really, really nervous. And we had a great steamy date and it was funny and fun and basically it took him a week to reach out to me after that date and I was like kind of annoyed but he like asked me to like go on a walk so I was like I'm down I'll go I'll entertain this I'm like so I'll go on a walk and by the way look how pretty I'm going to fill in my moles with fret so yeah steamy sexy date and I get it I'm in LA these guys have tons of options tons of beautiful women everywhere but you that doesn't mean you like I don't know like I've, I've, been, I've been around tons of good-looking men too and I can still see and talk to good-looking men more than one I don't know. You just never know someone's situation. But anyway, so we had a steamy date and it took him like a week to reach out to me about seeing me again. But I was like, I'm down. Do it. And then he took another five days to then like ask how I was doing but not bring up seeing me. And then our conversation ended and then I just never heard from him again. Mind you, none of these guys were like, hey, I'm looking only to just like bang. Besides the one guy was like, I don't believe in marriage. They're not like trying to take me home and I'm refusing. Like, it's just like, it was sexy, kissing, date, dinner. So that's the tea with that. <laughs> The first dude, I like let it go. I realized, I don't know, I got over that one where the other guy, the second guy was like, you are a fucking loser. Like, don't believe in marriage. You wanna knock a random girl up and just be a daddy. I'm so good. Plus he was a Leo. I know some of y'all's out there are Leos, but girl, Leos just like, I, they don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with them, like at all. I don't have one Leo in my life that like was once in my life and stayed. <laughs> Do I? Sorry. Maybe one of y'all's is different out there. Curling my lashes with this eyelash curler from Velour. So anyways, I recently just got on a dating app called Raya. It's basically like, I don't know. I knew someone that was like, do you want to get on this app? You have to like get accepted by someone. I don't even know. I don't remember the process, but I'd gotten accepted years ago when I first became single. And then I was like, I can't do a dating app. I'm too heartbroken for this shit. So stupid. But basically I never tried a dating app until three weeks ago. I tried this dating app and I've been meeting some cool people. So one of the guys on the dating dating app just took me out and I'm just like I don't know okay benefit fan fest that's all I have to say let me show you it so basically it has like a curved and it's water resistant so it's not waterproof so you're not scraping off your lashes to get this product off waterproof mascara rips off my whole eye like I swear that stuff to get it off is like the most insane thing where this is just like it comes off in like pieces like not tubes not like that but it's just so so nice and it just like makes your lashes look so full and pretty like look at this so good i'm i'm really i'm so into this so that's my dating situation and honestly i think part of the issue is me like i said i've never really dated before so i don't fully know what i'm doing i don't text first i just like i don't know especially in the beginning after I feel comfortable and I know that your intentions are pretty much pure. Then I'm like more open to texting you first and like being friendly. Cause I'm a friendly person. I just like, I'm not gonna give you effort in the beginning because I just don't know your vibe. <sighs> I don't know, I know that sounds so weird, but 
Look how pretty this mess. It just made the eye so pretty. And you know what? I'm gonna put a little, little brown underneath my eye. Shimmery brown. Love. I'm making this super like 2000s. Should I put on some lashes? I haven't worn lashes in so long because I felt like my long hair extension, I, it just looked like I was doing so much. Now I feel like to play up with makeup a little bit more with short hair, I can do it. I'm projecting, but you know what I mean. Velour lash glue. I'll just put on the back of my hand. This glue, you don't even need much in your stays in place. I love it. And sometimes they stay clumped like this. Ooh, snatched. These three I have to build up. But anyways, yeah, I just like, I feel like, I don't know. And sometimes people will be like, oh, it's just like your city, like whatever. No, I, I've, I've done dating in Miami, New York and LA and Michigan. And it's not the best like in all those areas. It's probably, it's honestly better in the Midwest. And now that I'm spending more time there, I could totally start my whole like, I'm actually gonna go on a date with a guy back in Michigan um, when I get there in September. So that'll be kind of cool. I'll go on a date with a Michigan boy. Uh, yeah. I just like, I don't know. I just feel like when I feel chemistry with someone, sparks are flying. When it doesn't go and like the guy doesn't try to pursue for a second date, I don't know. I get really like sad and I get so thrown off. And then I get like so insecure and sad. And I don't, I, I just wanna know like what was wrong with me. And some people are like, no, you don't wanna know. It's probably stupid and doesn't make sense, but I don't know. It's not like they, that they didn't think I was cute. So it's it's not like, hey, I think you're hideous. You know what I mean? Hey, I think you're so fucking ugly. You know, like I know it's not that. And even if they're talking to another girl, which I'm probably assuming most guys are talking to more than one girl in the beginning, you can still like go on other dates. By the way, I've checked in, like I, I checked in on all these boys. They're still very single. They are, like, and I know it. Like, so they didn't get like a girlfriend. They didn't have a girlfriend. We covered that on all the dates. They very much so could have the most secretive girlfriend of all secret times, but damn, am I attracting? Cause all the guys have the same situation. Am I just like attracting a guy that has a secret girlfriend? No, probably not. Let's do my lips girl and then we're done. So the podcast, oh my gosh. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the support so far. My dad's so special to me. And for those of you who know me on social media, anything at all, my grandma was just such a big part of my life, especially in my later years. We just got so close and it was my dad's mom. You know, my dad is a part of her and she was so special to me. So this podcast means the world to me and I'm putting so much work into it, all the editing, all the, you know, the cover art behind it and the idea behind it and like all this like stuff. I'm coming up with all of that and I don't think people realize how much work goes into that. It's so intense and, and so insane. So my lashes, yeah, these are like, these are actually really, I'm sorry, these are really intense. These are kind of intense. Push them down a little bit. I'm gonna take the Cork MAC lip liner and I'm just gonna go, I'm so happy I did this video. <laughs> But I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting. And if you guys haven't checked out the podcast, check it out. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of lipstick. Let's do, this is called Fast Play. It's pretty pinky, but let's do a little bit. Pretty, a beautiful nude lip gloss. This is Please Me Lip Glass by MAC. Iconic color. Um, do you guys see this color? Sick. So cute. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of body shimmer. <gasps> I didn't do highlighter. Girl, half magic highlighter. Kinda don't like that it says magic since I'm a Christian lady. We should not be putting things of words on our skin. I, it sounds crazy, but words are powerful, okay? But this color is so pretty. <laughs> I'm just gonna, my nose, <sighs> cute. I honestly could just wear my hair like this, but I'm gonna let it down so you guys can see it. Meow. It's crazy how much lashes make a difference. I could totally do this look and just not do lashes, but. I'm feeling sexy. Wanna hear you say my name, boy. Okay, my hair, this is all I'm gonna do to it. I'm gonna give it a little. Okay, you guys, so this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys really liked it. I, I feel like a brand new bitch, okay? I'll have all the products linked down below. I be spilling so much tea on here. Plus I love just hanging out and talking to you guys. You guys are the best. And I vlog so much, so many more vlogs to come. I'm going to New York, going back to Michigan, you know, dating. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. My dad and I spill a lot of dirty details there about life, people, stories that we have. We both, we both got some and we also really want a community over there to like talk to you guys about certain life ideas and thoughts and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you with all of my heart. God bless you guys.